6 Habits to Develop Mental Toughness There is a lot of focus on physical fitness, and for good reason. Maintaining good physical health can help you live a long, independent life and prevent diseases like heart disease or diabetes. However, mental fitness, having a sound mind that enables you to handle the chances and problems life presents is frequently overlooked. A fit mind is important. A widespread misunderstanding is that the absence of a mental health condition indicates that a person is mentally well and emotionally stable. But licensed professional clinical counselor Rachel O'Neill says that this is a risky assumption. An individual can certainly experience periods of stress, discomfort, sadness, or anxiety without necessarily meeting criteria for a mental health disorder, she said. Mental wellness is a process. And just like physical health, it's an ongoing process to maintain mental and emotional wellness. Unsurprisingly, the true measure of one's mental toughness can be seen during difficult or stressful situations. Being able to bounce back fast from a major life event demands a lot of mental fortitude and psychological resilience. In order to fully utilize our mental faculties, we must be mentally healthy. This enables us to be more creative, take advantage of opportunities as they arise, and respond to stressful situations with less apprehension and more composure. What can you do, then, to improve your level of mental fitness? 1. Concentrate on one task at a time. Although multitasking is a badge of honor, doing so excessively is unhealthy. Get comfortable being here. Take in your surroundings when out on a stroll, the weather, the wildlife. Pay close attention to what is being said when you are with pals. Disconnect from your phone and make an effort to stop thinking about your ongoing to-do lists. 2. Block off time to exercise your body. According to Kimberly Leach, a New York City-based Talkspace therapist, physical and mental health go hand in hand and should not be viewed separately as poor mental health can lead to bad physical health and vice versa. Maintaining mental and emotional wellness is a process that is ongoing. Just like maintaining physical health. 3. Schedule a daily mindfulness break for yourself. Every day, set aside 1 to 2 minutes to unwind. Tune into your body, and evaluate how you're feeling. You may either create a practice that works for you on your own, or use one of the many fantastic applications available to assist you implement a structured mindfulness practice. Studies have shown that even a short daily mindfulness meditation practice can significantly reduce stress, increase energy, and improve concentration. Research demonstrates that these advantages are not only hypothetical. Study participants actually saw improvements in their immune systems and decreases in the stress hormone cortisol. Additionally, they demonstrated enhanced working memory, executive functioning, and visuospatial processing, valuable mental faculties that facilitate quick action. 4. Set aside time for self-care. Set out an afternoon or evening to indulge in an activity you actually enjoy. Make a date with yourself to do something enjoyable that's only for you. It may be exercising, reading, or bench-watching your favorite show. 5. Establish boundaries and uphold them. There are benefits to living in a society that values success. However, there are drawbacks as well, such as burnout, 
which is a genuine issue when attempting to balance having a rewarding profession, an Instagram-worthy time with friends, and a content family life. Keep in mind that sometimes it's alright to say no. Set boundaries in your personal and professional lives to the extent that it is possible to prevent yourself from overextending yourself. 6. Don't be afraid to seek help. The first step to getting and staying healthy is frequently seeking help. But it can be difficult to know where to begin or who to turn to. It's normal to feel uncertain and question. If you should attempt to handle things on your own, keep in mind that occasionally it's alright to refuse something. There is never a bad time to ask for assistance. You can always get insight into yourself and your thoughts and feelings by discussing them with a friend or a loved one. It could be a good idea to get professional assistance to deal with your feelings. If you frequently feel stressed, tense, irritable, depressed, or easily frustrated, you don't need to spend a lot of time maintaining your mental health. You can feel better and think more clearly if you spend a short amount of time on it each day. Just as vital as more strenuous activities, like memory drills or physical exercises, such as relaxation, which is a mental workout.